Jeff to actually follow what's been going on. I've been meaning to shoot an update for quite some time. Uh, first of all, I meant to shoot a three month update and I'm sorry, nothing really was going on and I went, mm, boring. I'll wait till I got something to report. Then there was six months, I was gonna shoot a six month update and boring, nothing really to report. Um, and I looked down and I just passed a year's mark and I figured that those of you who were following what's going on might wanna know what's happening in that year. Oh, I've learned a few new jokes. I've managed to make schemy fingers that are a bit weird when I do that. Um, all kinds of different things. Um, but I have to say that, by and large, I just don't think about it very much anymore. And I think that's a good thing. Um, I wasn't just showing off my piano playing here. My hand pretty much is doing what it used to do. Um, unfortunately, it hasn't gotten rid of my mistakes on the piano. Um, but I'm getting pretty close to as good as I was before that. Um, in the last week, I repaired the brakes on my Suburban and I put a new alternator on my uh, Subaru. Um, I rebuilt the exhaust system a month ago on my uh, Rams Coyote. Uh, I'm back to just doing what I do and pretty much not really thinking about it anymore. I did have a minor operation on this thumb, a trigger release, not very long ago, maybe two months ago. And uh, when I went into the hospital, I asked one of the nurses when she was getting ready to start an IV, I said, start it on this side of my hand because there's a plate in this side of my hand. And the nurse looked at me and she said, why is there a plate in that side of your hand? And I said, count the fingers. And that was the first time she noticed anything unusual about my hand. Now, for somebody who grew up going to see specialists and being told, do you mind if I, see, if I shoot pictures? That's um, pretty triumphant. Um, I feel amazingly inconspicuous from time to time. And I've even had students that know me this year. Um, for those of you who don't know, I teach in the university. Uh, my students who knew me before are all used to my making jokes about my hand and everything. And some of the ones that I've gotten new that this year have started asking questions, what um, happened to your hand? And I've showed them some of the tutorials that I shot before I had the finger amputated. And when I watch myself, it hurts myself to watch <laughs> my hand the way it used to be. Um, so, am I used to looking at this hand and seeing uh, a three-fingered uh, macrodactyly salute guy? Yeah, it still sometimes startles me a little bit. Um, is all the pain gone? Not entirely. Uh, particularly across the back of my hand, I still have some pain. I still don't quite have that last little bit of motion back that I had uh, on this finger beforehand. Um, I've still got quite a lot of tenderness along the scar and I get uh, all kinds of shooting tingling all over if I, if I brush along the scar. But by and large, I'm well on the road to healing. Um, and I'm pretty much just moving right along. Um, and I think the, the biggest testament to all of it is I just don't really think about it anymore. And that was kind of the goal of all of this, is so that I wouldn't have to think about it anymore. Um, still hanging my keys on the outside of my pocket, still have a little bit of trouble reaching into the pocket, but maybe that's because I'm fat and I need to lose weight. And now it's time to face the fact that I've got more complicating factors going on than just the fact that I had macrodactyly. Um, I'm a guy who used to suffer from macrodactyly at this point. Uh, so for those of you looking to undergo this surgery, uh, I probably would have done it sooner in retrospect if I'd had a, uh, the option to, to think it all over. And I know it hasn't always come out that well for everybody. So for those of you who are still struggling with it, um, after surgery similar to mine, I, uh, my heart goes out to you and uh, you're in my thoughts. Uh, for those of you who are wondering should you do it or shouldn't you do it, um, everyone's results are different. Um, but uh, for me, this has been a pretty positive thing most of the time. Um, so that's about all I can say. It's been a year and here I am. I can fold my hands, I can do things that I never was able to do before, but I can say I'm really, really confused when somebody tells me something's to my right or my left, because I used to be able to tell my right hand was the one that had macrodactyly, my left hand was the normal one, and now, boy, it's really, really hard for me to tell my right hand from my left hand. Oh well. <laughs> it's been an interesting journey.